you were allowed to decide and you did, you cast almost 300 votes in the election and you made a clear decision. Barcelona should play in the Premier League in this video. Your wish is my order. FC Barcelona probably had its most glorious times between 2008 and 2015, a period that is closely linked to two names in particular, Lionel Messi and Pep Guardiola. No two other names were more synonymous with Barcelona than these two. Of course, there was also Xavi, Iniesta, Pique, Puyol and many, many more. During this time, Barcelona managed to win the Champions League three times among other honors. And now? Things are not quite so good for Barcelona at the moment. The great players of the past are gone. Financial problems are weighing heavily on the club. Nevertheless, they have still managed to win the Spanish championship from time to time in recent years. But financially, things are still not looking good. And perhaps the change today is just the right thing. Because Barcelona will be competing in the Premier League from now on. Fittingly, the St. George's Cross is already on Barcelona's crest, as if it had always been the plan. But the question is whether they can even compete against the strong competition from England. Manchester City with former coach Guardiola, Arsenal, Liverpool and a few more teams. But that's exactly what we'll find out today when we simulate Barcelona 10 times in the Premier League. If you like this idea, please give me a like. By the way, the poll for the next video has already been published in the community tab. As always, I want you to have the chance to contribute to the content of my channel. A brief theoretical input. In this video, I will calculate the seasons with the help of my AI and present the results in tables to you. I collected the data of all Premier League teams and immediately removed the data of Luton Town. Instead, I entered the data for Barcelona. That's enough theory. Let's take a direct look at how Barcelona have done. In their first season, Barcelona finished fourth and secured a Champions League place. Manchester City became champions, picking up a whopping 91 points and finishing well ahead of second and third place. Manchester United and Chelsea, on the other hand, completely missed out on the international places. Everton just managed to save themselves from relegation. If we take a closer look at Barcelona's record, we see a total of 10 defeats accumulated over the course of the season. These include clear 4-2, 4-0, 3-1, 4-1 and 5-1 defeats, all of which were away from home. Another major problem is definitely the defense as even when they won, they rarely kept a clean sheet. Most of the time it was 3-1 or 2-1 successes. Not bad for a start, but let's see what Barcelona can still achieve. In season number two, Barcelona couldn't quite repeat their performance and dropped to fifth place in the table, meaning they would only qualify for the Europa League. While Newcastle were able to secure fourth place this time, Manchester City were once again able to celebrate the champion championship. Chelsea, by the way, finished the season in 14th place. And once again, Barcelona have a whopping 10 defeats in a season and 8 draws. That's almost half of the games that they failed to win, which is far too many to be able to make any kind of impact on the championship. Once again, there were some clear defeats, some of which would not have been expected from a top team. But also four draws in a row could certainly be close to a Premier League record. Conclusion, season number two even worse than the first season. Let's move on. The trend is your friend, or so Barcelona must have thought. Worse again, seventh place in the Conference League, Manchester City have a whopping 34 points more as champions. Even Chelsea in 12th place is closer to Barcelona. But with 10 draws and 12 defeats, it's no wonder. Incidentally, 60 goals conceded is the third worst figure in the league. Numerous defeats, sometimes with five and six goals conceded. Draws against clubs that should normally be beaten. Wins only by a narrow margin of 2 to 1 or 1 to 0. This really is a season to forget. Next season, please. I actually thought it couldn't get any worse, but it did. 
10th place, not even close to an international starting place. 36 points behind champions Manchester City, only four points ahead of Chelsea. I actually thought I could compare Barcelona with the top clubs in this video, but at the moment it's more like a weakening Chelsea. 11 draws, 13 defeats, more goals conceded than goals scored. Barcelona in their fourth season in the Premier League, figures I didn't expect. Of course, this also includes the numerous heavy defeats. Of course, there are also the numerous unnecessary draws. Of course, there are only narrow victories here too. In the meantime, I think that fourth place was the slip up and Barcelona can be happy in this experiment if they end up in the Conference League and occasionally in the Europa League. But let's wait and see how things develop. In season number five, things are looking up again and Barcelona can secure seventh place in the table. The gap to champions Manchester City, who currently score around 100 goals and 90 points every season, is once again enormous. Arsenal and Liverpool have also been much more consistent so far with their second and third places. At least Barcelona were able to improve their defence somewhat and only conceded 11 defeats this season as a result. At the same time, with 12 draws, it is self-explanatory why they only managed to finish in 7th place and not higher in the table. Of course, the usual results are also included this year. What I find remarkable, however, is that Barcelona never really lose several games in a row, but just regularly lose a few. What did I say earlier? The trend is your friend? Maybe it's the same for Barcelona now. But sometimes I can get too happy too soon and Barcelona can reach new lows. 12th place behind Chelsea. I repeat, behind Chelsea, they are closer to a relegation spot than a Champions League spot. By the way, we have a new champion. Arsenal played a phenomenal round and can secure the title ahead of City. Barcelona, on the other hand, with more defeats than victories, more goals conceded than goals scored. This is no longer the glorious Barcelona of the Messi era. Numerous small defeats that could definitely have been avoided. Numerous draws that brought no progress. No sovereignty in any form. That's really just bad from Barcelona. Closer to relegation than the Champions League is not a sentence I would have expected before. But let's move on. Wow. So they can do it differently after all. Fourth place and back in the Champions League. I wouldn't have expected that today. 65 points and a slightly better goal difference were enough in the end. And ahead of Barcelona? The top trio from England consisting of Manchester City, Arsenal and Liverpool. The Constants. If you take a closer look at the table, you can see that Barcelona were not that much better than in previous seasons. Still 11 draws and 9 defeats. Just 65 points and a whopping 52 goals conceded. That's still not a really good performance. And fourth place is also largely due to the fact that clubs like Tottenham and Newcastle have been too inconsistent themselves this season to be any better. But the Champions League is the Champions League. Let's take it and keep it up, please. Or not. In season number eight, Barcelona are more likely to show their true colors. Or perhaps the other English clubs much more so. In the end, they finished in ninth place even though they only had five points less than last season. Barcelona's biggest weakness this year was, on the one hand, the strength of the other clubs, and on the other, the fact that they lost all the games they usually drew this time. Although they only drew six games, they lost 14. In addition, with 59 goals to 58, they had a weak offense and a weak defense. I'd like to say that things can only get better, but I've learned from Barcelona that things can get a lot worse. So let's just move on to next season. In the penultimate season, Barcelona can secure 60 points again and reach 7th place, the Conference League. By now I'm sure that the 60 points could be around Barcelona's average and then a lot depends on how well the other clubs around them perform. Incidentally, there are two other pieces of news this season. Firstly, Liverpool have become champions. Secondly, and much more surprisingly, Chelsea are sixth. Once again, Barcelona have played a modest round with nine draws, 12 defeats and 64 goals to 63. 
but that's all Barcelona really seemed to be capable of on average. A grey mouse of the league, occasionally slipping up and occasionally slipping down. Never in danger of relegation, but never close to the league title either. Let's take a look at one last season. We end the experiment with the impression that I have also memorized for Barcelona in the Premier League. Disappointing. 10th place. 50 points. 39 points behind Champion City. 15 points ahead of 17th place. Barcelona have as many wins as defeats. More draws than wins or defeats. More goals conceded than goals scored. 50 points is, if I remember correctly, the second worst points haul. That was nothing again. To summarize, Barcelona have made it to the Champions League twice. Once in the Europa League and twice in the Conference League. All the other years they didn't manage to qualify for Europe. If I look at all 10 years and average the placings, Barcelona averaged 7.5, Tottenham averaged 7.3 and Manchester United averaged 7.6, putting them in 7th place in the average placings. Conference League. I already said it after season 9, a grey mouse of the league that doesn't really stand out. Sometimes good, sometimes average. Never threatened with relegation, but never a championship contender either. The move to the Premier League would not have been worth it for Barcelona. If you liked the video, please leave a like and a comment. That would help me a lot. Feel free to let me know in the comments whether I should go into more or less detail. I'd also love feedback on what I can do better in general. And remember that the survey for the next video can be found on my community tab. Mm -hmm.